Hi guys, we want, to find, we want to find the value of a and b. Even that you have 1 divided by a plus 1 divided by b equals 1 divided by 11. Then let's multiply 2 by a, b. So from here we have a, b. Then multiply by the whole of this, we have 1 divided by a plus 1 divided by b equals a, b divided by 11. Then from here, we have a, b times 1, we have it to be a, b divided by a plus a, b times 1, we have it to be a, b divided by b equals a, b divided by 11. Then from here, this and this we cancel. We're going to have it to be b plus this and this we cancel. We have it to be a equals a, b divided by 11. So when we divide this by 1, so let us cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we have 11 multiplied by b plus a equals a b times 1. We have it to be a b. Then from here, we have 11 b plus 11 a equals a b. Then let's take the whole of this to the other side. This implies that we are going to have a b minus 11 b minus 11a then we should let everything equals zero then from here we are going to have here to be b is common we have b into a minus 11 then we have it to be minus 11a then let us add plus one two one then minus one two one this has nothing it will give us back zero then we should let everything equal zero then from here, then we have this to be b into a minus 11, minus 11. We have this divided by this minus 11. We have only a plus 1 to 1 divided by minus 11. We have it to be minus 11, close the bracket. Then let us take this to the side. We have it to be 1 to 1. Then from here, a minus 11 is common. a minus 11. We have it to be a minus 11 as this. Then the whole of this here divided by this, we have only b. Then the whole of this here divided by this, we have it to be minus 11. Then we have everything to be equals 1 to 1. Now, we can simplify this 1 to 1 as 1 times 1 to 1. We can simplify this as 1 to 1 times 1. We can also simplify this as 11 times 11. Likewise, we can also simplify this as minus 11 multiplied by minus 1 to 1. We can also simplify this as minus 1 to 1 multiplied by minus 1. Then again, we can also solve this as minus 11 times minus 11. All this, all this here will give us, this will give us 1, 2, 1. Now, in that case, when we consider this first one and see what will happen, that means from here, a minus 11 will be equals 1. So we have a minus 11 to be equals 1. And from here, we have our a to be equal, taking this one to here, will be 11, 1 plus 11 equals 12. Then B minus 11 will be equals this. We have B minus 11 will be equals 1, 2, 1. So we are going to have B to be equals 11 plus this will be 1, 32. So for the first solution, we have A comma B to be equals the first one is 12, 132. That is the first solution. Then, likewise, when we consider this, so we're going to have A comma B. It will be the reciprocal of this one will be 132, comma 12. So that means we are done with this as well. Then let's go along with this one. 
So what we are going to have will be so from here for the first solution we have this second solution we have this so and everything you call this one let's go along with this it implies that a minus 11 equals from here 11 and we have our a to be equals 22 when you take it to this one so we have b minus 11 equals this 11 then our b will be equals 22 again we also have a comma b to be equals 22 comma 22 then let us go along with this so we're going to have a minus 11 equals minus 1 then we have a minus 11 to be equals minus 1 plus 11 equals 10 likewise we have b minus 11 to be equals from here this minus 1 to 1 then we have our b to be equals minus 1 to 1 plus 11 then from here we are going to have our b to be equals minus 1 1 10 so from here a comma b equals from here 10 comma minus 1 10 so likewise when we go along with this as well so we are going to have a comma b to be equals minus 1 1 10 taken to this one comma 10 so likewise let's also go along with this it implies that we are going to have a comma b as this sorry a minus 11 to be equals minus 11 then it implies that you have a to be equals minus 11 plus 11 which equals 0 so from here we have b minus 11 to be equals minus 11 from here as well so we have b to be equals minus 11 plus 11 to be equals 0 so therefore a again we have a comma b again to be equals 0 comma 0 so finally we're going to have our a comma b from here from here we have it to be 12 comma 132 then we also have a comma b to be equals 22 comma 22 then we also have a comma b to be equals <laughs> minus 1 110 comma 10 so then from here a plus b will now be equals for this a plus b will now be equals 0 from here also a plus b will now be equals this plus this will be 144 then a plus b from this will be equals 44 then comma a plus b from here will also be equals 100 so therefore a plus b equals 0 make it like this 44 comma 144 comma 100 if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. Bye-bye.